Hey guys, now you want to get this first thing first before you even start this glitch. Get the RDO map as you see up here in the scene. This will show you everything that every treasure hunter and treasure map tree is on there. You want to go to random encounters, it'll show you where they're at. And this is also one of my number one tools. It helps with dailies, legendary animal spawns, random encounters as you've seen there, and stuff like that. It's, it's great information. One of my top number one tools I use. As you see, it'll show you the difference. It'll be a little guy by it and buy that. It'll show you all them locations. Make sure you get it. A link will be in the description. My number one tool. So check it out. Hey guys. Now we're going through this. This is how you get your treasure maps on all platforms. All platforms. Go to Shane McGuire. Anthony Freeman or Shane to be down here in Blackwater, but sometimes he'll switch up here to tall trees Shane is probably the best one to get the map second one Over here at Anthony Foreman Freeman Warren, whatever his name is He will spawn there too. I'll show you and James landing Now in the beginning I showed you and he'll spawn down here sometimes too, which is fine. But in the beginning I showed you, get the RDO map. It will show you every damn treasure hunter, treasure map on a tree location. And Foreman will spawn over here in St. Dickonies once in a while. They all change, but it'll still work the same. But when you go to one of these guys, like I said, Shane is the best one. Hit blood money missions. Capitale, then. Stagecoach, stick up. On all three of them, that's the one you want to do. Sometimes they change, sometimes they vary. And you got to ride around like the Heartlands, whatever, to find a treasure hunter or a map on a tree. Okay, and the second way, if you want to do it solo to get maps, Bard's Crossing. Number one solo, glitch, blah, blah, blah. Video on the channel. Videos be in the description. You can tell these boys are serious when they Better yet, go over and join the Discord. If you don't have nobody to help you, so mysterious. get the map. It, Lake Isabella map is the hardest one to get. You'll get it after you get like 20, 21, 22, around in there, you'll get it. Sometimes not. Now, you want to fast travel to Coulter. That's the nearest fast travel. You're going to come down here to Lake Isabella. Now we're going to haul ass down here. Now once we get down here, we want to get it to spawn there. The treasure chest, which is the best spot. Or we want to get it, damn it Slim, to spawn in over here. These are the two locations that it works. But the one over by the cliff is the best one. Yes, if you ain't got the Lake Isabella map, you can use Hagenstead North map. Now you see, like I just showed, they'll spawn there, and these are the only two at work. Now here comes the bullshit part. You gotta get to spawn in. Sometimes you can hit it right on number one, sometimes you can't. It'll take a few minutes. Patience. Everything, you, you, you can't rush it. Because once you get it going, you got it going. And no, it's not patched. It's still freaking working. And if you do not have no friends or anything to do this with, join the Discord. Growing insanely fast. Tons of people that will help you. Non-toxic people. And it's not even to help with glitches. If you just want somebody to play with, help you in story missions and all that stuff, go join the Discord. Now, I'm going to speed this up because this took me a minute to get this son bitch in. But like I said, you got to keep spawning the maps. Pot Lake Isabella. Don't spawn in. Go to another map. Then come back to Lake Isabella until it spawns in. I'm just putting this out here because one... Everybody is, is it patched? Is it patched? Is it patched? I can't do it. It's not working no more. Again, join the Discord. 
over 700 plus members. They, somebody will help you out. Tons of information. Tons of information. Now, we got to spawn in the location we want. We're going to call in our old boy. I was going to cut this short, but it's kind of killer. He spawned in under the under the damn water and shit. It, it's kind of cool. Any minute now. Don't mean to drag it out, but it was kind of cool if I caught it right. See, he spawned there. Now watch, he'll spawn under the water. He'll start shooting and blowing shit up. I spawned in under the water a couple times, man. It was kind of cool shooting fish underwater and not dying. You won't come on, dude. What the hell? You hear me shoot? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Now your partner gets in here. If he ever gets in, there we go. He's going to form a posse. You don't have to be a permanent posse. You can be a temporary posse. Save you some money. Because you ain't going to have to worry about it after you're done doing this. Okay, now he's forming a posse. Sorry if you hear the thunder. It's storming like hell here. There's Posse Invite. Now, there's multiple places where he can stand. Because he's going to go AFK. And it varies. Its servers vary. Timing varies. And it's really not hard to do. Now, usually I just put him here. Or you could put him up above the treasure chest. Or by the treasure chest. Whatever works for you. Because I've noticed that servers change. Servers change and servers has a lot to do with it. Timing and not understanding has a lot to do with it. Now you want you know the routine. Go walk over here with a boomstick. Because that is a requirement is having boomsticks. If not your partner can have a boomstick and blow you up. Now you're going to hit respawn. Here's what a lot of people don't understand. You respawn. You want to hit respawn again. No. There we go. Hit respawn again. It will put you next to your partner, your posse leader. See, before when I was doing this and had, he was out there standing, I was spawning right beside him out there on the ice. It was making it real quick. But this is still a good way. Whatever you prefer, I'm speeding this up. Just remember you got to double spawn. Now, here's the last step. Definitely make sure you do this. Go to your maps and switch to another map. And I didn't get it on video to save time from, like, when you want to do it again after you get the gold. Close your app. Go back into free roam. It will already be spawned there. Have your friend send an invite. Boom. Or vice versa. Now, just to show, it's not patched. As you can see, and again, can't stress enough, go over to Discord. My Discord. Great team of staff over there. Great Discord, non-toxic. They will help you with anything. PvP, story missions, bounty hunter missions. Just to posse up and have fun. Check it out. All links will be in the description. But yeah, as you can see, it's still working good. So it is not patched. And probably won't be patched till next month. If at, if at all. But yep, yeah, that's it. Just remember, you can close your app instead of spawning through the map to get it to spawn in again and spawn in.